So welcome back to the session team. Today we are going to start uh, next part of MRP. And up till now we understand what is MRP, uh, what are the, uh, uh, why we should have MRP, what is the uh, objective of MRP, like MRP is going to achieve a required material and a right time in a right place in a right quantity. Okay. So that was our study session discussion. Now today we will start with uh, the next part that is the input and output of MRP element. So when we are going to take MRP, MRP is nothing but your material requirement planning. And for this MRP, we are going to have a PIR as one of the input. What is the PIR? Tim? Plan independent reporting. Okay. Yes. How we will create a PIR? Forecast. Forecast, right? Based on the forecast. Yeah. Forecast is equal to your PIR, is equal to assumptions. How you will create a PIR? T code? MD61. Perfect. Okay. So MD with MD61, you are going to upload some demand unit system and that is going to be input of your MRP, right? There are customer requirement. What is the customer requirement? Customer requirement is equal to? Sales orders. Perfect. Only customer one person requirement. speaking. Rest of the team. I hope you, if you are not doing the study, then it's quite difficult for you to move further on. Okay. Akshay, Aditya, Bani, Sagar. Okay. Guys, it is expected that you should answer. Okay. Okay. So customer requirement is what? It is nothing but your sales order. Then there are sales secondary order. requirement. Okay. What is secondary requirement? Anybody have any guess? A secondary requirement, suppose your company is selling a laptop. Okay. You are manufacturing a laptop here. Okay. So once your laptop is getting a requirement with their uh, customer requirement or laptop, that is your primary requirement. Secondary requirement, come, some people may be looking for hard disks. Some people may be looking for processor. That is a spare part. So that is nothing but also requirement, right? So that is called as a secondary requirement. Then there are stocks. What do you mean by stocks? There are some safety stock you have to maintain. The stock is going down. Then again, there will be trigger as a planning requirement. Okay. So that is nothing but a, one of the input element for your MRP run. And fixed receipt. Fixed receipt means what? There are some of the materials from vendor is going to come to you or from your, uh, what do you say? Uh, from your production order, which is not yet confirmed which is created, which is in progress, but not yet confirmed. Those production order or the purchase requisition or PO, purchase requisition converted into PO and that PO, which is getting transferred from supplier, but not received to you. Okay. Those also going to be a input for your MRP. Okay. So a lot of things are going to be a part of input for your MRP. And based on all these steps, okay, MRP is going to be run. And then you will get the output of this MRP as purchase requisition for the raw material and plan order for the your finished product or in-house manufacturing product. The component which are in-house manufacturing for that plan order will be created for the raw material purchase requisition will be created. Okay. Very simple. Everybody clear? Yes or no guys? Yes, Mohit, yes, Akshay, yes, Sagar, yes, Akshay. Yes, yes. Everybody clear? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So can you once clear on fixed receipts once? Uh, fixed receipt. Things. Okay. Fixed receipt means what? The things which are going to receive. Okay. What you are going to receive in a stock, either raw material, either finished good. Okay. So how you are going to receive the raw material? Raw material will come from your supplier. So what is the meaning of uh, that? Some of the PO, which purchase order, which you have created earlier, those are not yet received to your company premises. Okay. Suppose you are taking MRP run on day one. On previous month, on 26th, some PO has been created. The stock is in transit from supplier and it is on the way coming to the, your office. So aren't you going to consider that is a, your incoming element or not? Yes or no? Yes, yes, right? yes. Then similarly, production order, which order which are created, but not, but released, but not yet confirmed. They are in production line. They are not yet confirmed. So those you can consider as a fixed receipt. Those orders, production yeah, orders. Like WIP orders, you mean? WIP yeah. orders, yes. Right, what is WIP for? Yes, that's true. Okay, everybody clear? So let us understand in another diagram how exactly it's look like. So we talk about there are demand management. What is the demand management? We talk PIR, sales order and everything. Either we have some manual or some through projects, we get the requirements. And the requirement planning will happen. That is nothing but MRP, material requirement planning. This is MRP. After MRP, we will get a plan order. The plan order, we are going to convert into the production order in case of in-house product and we'll convert it into the purchase equation for the bought out component. 
and this purchasing function POS scheduling agreement delivery will be go and then it will get the receive by invoice verification and warehouse stock will be created. Okay. So this is the way it is just overview of your MRP. What happens when you go when we are going to take a MRP run? Clear everybody? Very simple. You get a demand a requirement. The requirement is get churn out into your MRP. After MRP is process, it will create a plan order every time, and this plan order further get converted either production order or purchase requisition. And this purchase requisition ahead converted into purchase orders. Okay. And this is for MM perspective. The next part is total MM. Rest here is a production order. This production order will create the reservation for raw material. And again, that reservation, we will have the uh, metal liability check. And then there is a dependent requirement for the next components and so on. And again, it will give the inputs for your MRP. Okay. Tim? So it, uh, basically, sir, uh, for the purchase requisitions, it goes for the trading business. Does, does it go to purchase requisition mostly? Or... Pardon, what do you say? Trading uh, business for the trading business. Ha ha ha. Ha. If you are for having a company which is doing the trading, in that case, everything will be a, your purchase requisition, or your plan yeah, okay. will be a purchase requisition. Okay. Because okay, okay. you are not manufacturing anything, so this portion will not be there. Only this cycle. Okay. Everybody clear? So let us go to the next very much important part. 